Wow. And you're already bouncing off each other like an old married couple. Careful now, you're gonna make his cape jealous. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony, that's uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the Dragon Mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. What? Straight to voicemail? Some Sorcerer Supreme. Must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. A lot of... Whoa, what kind of network you running there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges, bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark force pushing against the wards. Steven, where are you? It's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. Sorcerer Supreme, and I wasn't following you. With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. How long have you two been sharing a room now? Even given the fluctuations in the astral spectrum, I should be seeing something. Unless Bruce is right about gamma interference. <laughs> if such a thing could even exist. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Darkhold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry.
Your sanctum will survive. We shall see to that. Indeed, the Sanctum Sanctorum has weathered its fair share of trouble over the years. Lay storms, a few short-tempered celestials, that issue with the Zoning Commission. But this time, it feels different. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. We should hurry. As much as I'd love to hear a first-hand account of your ex- Wanda can maintain the wards, I'm certain of that. But perhaps we shouldn't linger? About time. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... well... I'll just let her show you. So young, of course. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. At least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry.
I hesitate to call this good news, but I'm seeing minimal Hydra resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. Time's over. Not great, but not bad. We will not fail. You're mine. A fair strike. Don't waste the opportunity. That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. Search for wealth and power with just a tinge of fascism. Hmm. Hydra will never change. Let's give it a go. I'm impressed.
the light will carry you onward. I won't forget this. Hydra. Get out of there! I'll have it. I'll return the favor in kind. Wanda is calling out to me. I feel her struggle. Need to concentrate and... Ah! And I won't be doing that again. Make things interesting. Time you do not have to show off for me, Blade. Guided as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter. Not Lilin. You were saying? The lifeblood of the Mother pumps through our veins. The Mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. Wanna bet? <laughs> It calls itself Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider wizard. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with his spleen. strong today.
How invigorating. of your mother's children so chatty thankfully no I hope this is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. Prepare your... We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty fear. I shall fill your belly with my blade, demon. You will 
suffer for that! battle requires. Occasionally. And well for you. in the neighborhood. 
friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <laughs> Spider-Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but... Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the pearl from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! <laughs> Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Oh, of course! I see it now. The look! Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda? She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. fiasco. And it would have been far worse had Spider-Man not arrived when he did. No kidding. Caretaker would have been pissed if Venom had actually eaten a hunter. Yes, one disaster averted. But we still need to figure out how to get Wanda and the Sanctum back. Not the outcome I envisioned for our first mission together, but you know what they say. Any mystical battle you can teleport away from... What's up, Big H? Hunter, you look... scathed. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. Your support is appreciated. Oh, no problem. I already got a few ideas cooking. You're not allergic to mimetic poly... You know what? Never mind. Why spoil the surprise? I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. 
The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. But I do not have a quill. Even better. <laughs> Relax, Tony. I simply jest. It is an ink derived of the spider lily flower. Red spider lily flowers. Of course it was. Obviously. With just a touch of Manphibian blood. For power. Haha! -ha, another zinger. And we'll just leave it at that. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. I'm Tony Stark, but if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, Aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. Never was enough room for my armor in this thing. so happy then.
we were all so happy then. time I start writing in it again. for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the forge. I think he has another present for you. Sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. I don't get it. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing. Mm, yes, speaking of, 
Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered. Well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep. I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. Still think it could have used a cloak. Stylish, damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I still think it could have benefited from a cloak. You think everything could benefit from a cloak? I do not. Oh, I've heard the things you whisper to your cape when you think no one's listening. Ah, oh, the joys of sharing a workspace. And I'll have you know this cloak has helped me save the universe from extinction on countless occasions. Could you... I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? Tell me about this demon. Why is it there? Well, you would probably know more about that than me. I'm still working on a way to keep track of everything that goes bump in the night around here. Whatever they've got trapped down there. It's hotter than hell by a few thousand Kelvin, very pissed off, and really good at weaving synthetic microglands. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them, too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? I might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. <sighs> At least they did before everything changed. But you and the Doctor seem to work well together. Well, no need to put a label on things. The guy is good at making sense of this madness every now and then. He's not talking to his cape. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things. Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek, and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there, and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at Yield Demon Hunting School, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. 
Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Got more coil for me? No problem. You're welcome, Hunter. Come meet me in the yard. Welcome to the Yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? None. All right then. 